Now, the process we're going to use in this webinar, we're going to use this, right? There's going to be a whole lot of articles, social media, friends at the pub who tell you about various companies. They're going to tell you about, uh, uh, you know, Facebook and Google and Twitter and shares in all of these. And, and you might think, right, what do I do now? Do I just buy them because they've said it? No, we're then going to use certain tools and software processes to decide what we buy, what we hold and what we sell. And then we're going to have a portfolio of about 15 stocks. Why 15? I'll tell you. OK, and we're going to pick companies which are either quality or what we call performance companies. We hold them for 12 months and we have a stop loss of 25 percent. You can make it 30 percent if you wish. Very simple process. Why have we got a simple process? Because it works. It's proven to work. And I'll show you my track record in a second and what I own as a result of it. We're going to do all of this because we want our money to grow and up and up and up. And we'll go through the returns, the business plan returns we want. Yes, investing is a business. It is a side business. Why is it a side business? Because it's a lot of money you're talking about. It's your future you're talking about. Don't neglect it. Congratulations to you for being on this webinar. Howard's asked me about Tesla. My God, not a day goes by when somebody doesn't ask me about Tesla. Um, uh, uh, with, when I look at the financials of Tesla, I have to put it into the category of gambling, not on financials um, and the conservative financials on which I invest. I invest based on working capital availability, on profitability, on earnings growth, on sales growth year on year, on dividend yields, on cash flow availability, uh, uh, on historic performance and outperformance of market. Whilst it's done rather well in the last few months, um, I don't have the, 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 the data that I would want over the longer term, and therefore I have to put it in the gambling thing. So if I want to take a view on Tesla, I'd go to Ladbrokes and I wouldn't go to the stock market. That's all. Uh, and if I'm wrong, and in 12 months, it's doubled up some more, and it may well be 50% chance it may well have doubled up. I'm afraid the strict criteria I use, just as Warren Buffett has his, and Fundsmith, as you've mentioned there, have theirs. It doesn't fit my criteria. I keep a disciplined approach. I have seven individual strategies I use, and one of them is not gambling on high momentum stocks. Okay, it's not what I do. We do look at momentum, but we look at valuation, growth, income, cash flow, uh, Sortino, Alpha. I will explain all of these. Croaky, I'll explain all of these. Uh, analyst forecasts as well, what the big banks are telling their wealthiest clients, what the hedge funds are buying as well. Sadly for Tesla, the biggest problem I've got at the moment is all the biggest hedge funds have broken the world record on the largest number of shorts shorts okay um on it so great no absolutely howard look howard there's airlines you could buy as well and you'd be up a thousand percent um uh, i i saw a sparrow and i thought it was spring you know uh, 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 uh congratulations doesn't matter okay i want a rigorous approach i'm not here to gamble i can give you a load of momentum stocks if you want uh, <laughs> uh that's easy to do um but we're here to get a rigorous return uh, and I'm not looking for the next Tesla either because I could be shopping around for a long time. Our job through that is to find what to buy, hold, and sell. And we do get companies like, which comes through this filter process, Best of the Best, or Inovio, both up 100% in just the one month, in just a month. Whereas Tesla shareholders have been waiting, I think, 10 years, is it? Uh, seven years to get their returns. Uh, well, we've outperformed them over that period because they got them all cramped up, so everyone got woohooed. Uh, but in actual fact, they were waiting for years with doing nothing, and many of them gave up not the business I want to be in. I want my money every single year. I want a return every single year, okay? I don't want it in spits and bats. I don't want somebody performing for a couple of months and then being crap for the rest of the year, uh, the rest of the five years. Uh, that's the approach. It's a systematic approach where I want my money every single year so I can sleep easy. A lot of Tesla people haven't been sleeping um, uh, 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 generally uh, uh, very well. Neither of the airlines people, because they're speculating. You can speculate and gamble on coronavirus and say, hey, I think the airlines are going to do well. I think uh, Carnival is going to do very well. I think, you know, whatever. Um, but we're not here to speculate. I'm not a speculator. Uh, okay. I'm a professional investor. Now, shares can only do one of two things, go up or go down. The quality stocks, if I have quality stocks, and I think there are five quality companies which have outperformed all the airlines, Carnival and Tesla, the five quality stocks, which I think in the world, I'll tell you what those are in a second, and I've been holding them forever. If you've been following me for 20 years, you'll know I've been bloody holding them forever because you would have read about me talking about it. And they're not exciting. They're not the secret ones, you know, that the Tesla followers love and the Carnival gamblers love. They're the ones which have outperformed those. And yet they're in your face ones that everyone's heard of. All their performance stocks, let's just assume everything's a performance stock, okay? They hit their target or the time is run out after 12 months. The market goes up 
uh, either time has run out or they've hit a target. I don't set targets. I don't set targets. I think things can go up and up and up and up and up, as mine often do. Not everything goes up, but the ones that do, they go up more than I anticipated, more than I ever anticipated. So with those, with those, uh, 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 with those, what tends to happen, uh, uh, the ones that go up and up and up, is I hold them for 12 months, I have a time target. But this is the most important bit, the downside, the downside, the downside. If it's a quality stock, I buy more, and I'll tell you which are my five quality companies. My five quality companies, by the way, are no secret. They're basically monopolies in their fields, and they have trillions in the bank. They are the flight to quality companies, okay? And performance. So let's assume everything else is performance out of the 8,000 equities, which are listed in the UK and the US and the global markets, which are on the U uh, US markets uh, uh, out there. There's 8,000 to choose from. So I've got a lot of choice that I'm interviewing in companies when I pick my 15. And these performance stocks, if the market's fallen, either time has, well, time's run out or they've hit my stop loss. And that's it. It's very simple. I don't look at my portfolio every single day. I'm not obsessed. I've got better things to do. I've got roses in the garden to smell, okay? Uh, uh, and there's better ways to run your life than checking your portfolio. Uh, every single day or gambling on it. No, 12 months, either time has run out or they've hit the stop loss and I've got my return. Thank you very much.